Bolton Council Youth Service have 11 youth centres across the borough providing activities for young people and children. I come to youth club because uh, it's good, they put ping pong out, um, pool, they give uh, toast out, hang around with my friends and it's better than being on the streets causing trouble. I come here because you can enjoy all the activities. Um, I sometimes work behind the bar in the Costa Castle and we do lots of stuff and activities it can be fun. Um, I come to this youth club because I find it really enjoyable and I've met a lot of new people, new friends and it like helps a lot of people out with things that's going on outside of school and put like families problems and everything like that. When I came to this country I didn't know no one and I started coming to the youth I started learning new people and I started developing my English with them. I like can engage people in the community, can come together and show where for people to be. Um, I come because it's fun and there's nothing else to do. If like, cause everything costs and there's nothing to do basically. We do like creative stuff like making stuff to go on boards or go playing in the sports hall or anything like, anything you want. They start accessing our centres from around 12 onwards and over that time you get to see them mature. Um, and mix with older peer groups where they're all able to socially educate each other. We did a lot of issue based work around safer lifestyles, safer sex and stuff like that, um, as well as drug and alcohol abuse. Come over, but you've got any left. When you come, come in the bedroom. Went to the bedroom, smoked a little bit, and bang, got me. My life changed forever. I never smoked weed, I never drank alcohol again. I'll become a crackhead junkie. I thought it was like very inspirational and it'll help a few people in the youth club already and I think he's very strong and it was a lot of courage to say that. Youth work in the youth centre I think for young people is very important because it's the way they get their support away from families. Um, we also provide informal education. Um, we give them knowledge and the information to make their own choices so then they become independent which then gains their self-esteem and confidence. There's a lot of staff which help, um, which help you a lot and talk to you if there's something wrong or if you're feeling down. I come to you club because you can play on the computers and play football and do other stuff and, and buy stuff and play on the PS4. I make new friends and when I like get bored, I can go and play football and like play other games. There's, the pitch is like it's chilled and it's. And it's like competitive, so it's a bit fun. It's more, it's not boring as it was before. We deliver football sessions uh, in partnership with Bolton Council at some youth centres. Um, we try really and get as many young people active and, and taking part in activities as we can. Uh, as you can see behind me here tonight, we've got lots of different age groups, different um, backgrounds of, 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 of participants. Um, and it's just really positive activities, really. I've made a lot of friends, yeah. I like the treat children better. They they trying to make they trying to make some some kids have have good good respect, good you know make them go play good at football, make make them future. It started off being a volunteer. I like working with young kids. I like doing a bit of football, a bit of I go everywhere, I go Burnham Park, I go Castle, I come here. I like the staff, the more care about me and they care about me, they care about everything else. Talking to the youth workers, like, because they're, they're good, they're very inspirational and they help, they help us all through a lot of things and they, they just have little gossips and, yeah. If you don't have someone to talk to, it can just, your life, it's just really boring, isn't it? You can tell them every, anything if you want and they'll just keep it to themselves and it's nice, really nice of them. Going to dangerous places like such as crime, doing drugs, this, this, like going to the wrong way. But here it really helped us, it showed us which right path to take in our future and it really helped us, it helps young people to come here. 
In the evening we go out on a, usually on a Thursday, Friday and Saturday evenings in various communities around Bolton. Um, we engage with young people, we direct young people into various services that's available for them in Bolton, youth clubs and so on. But also it's about keeping young people safe when they're out there on the streets. It's uh, asking young people, do you feel safe in your community, if not why not, and looking at what we can do to solve them issues and problems within the community with young people. This is like keeps uh, teenagers safe from doing all the bad things that there is. And this is where all the, everyone gathers, all the friends, you get to meet new people as well, you, get, you make new friends. The clubs pretty much reflects the issues within the community, as does it reflect the diverse nature of the community, I think. We're probably one of the most diverse youth clubs in Bolton. Like uh, Slovakian, Polish, African, a lot, like Arab people. A lot of people come here from different countries. And you know each other's and you learn little words from each other countries. That's really good. The things that make me come here is that you can socialise with other people. There's things to do like baking, colouring, we computers, table tennis and it's really fun. The youth club gives us like an opportunity to all speak and not have to just sit outside and be cold. Lots of social and emotional activities going on so we're here for support and to engage young people in positive activities. Due to the nature of the young people and their background as well uh, and the area that we're working in, we're engaging is they do come to us and they do talk to us about various things, uh, especially personal stuff as well. Generally, it's something to do with like, what they did at school. Uh, last, going back about six months ago, we did something on bullying because uh, two individuals came in. They said we've been bullied at school. Uh, we don't know what to, how to go about doing it. So we, as a group, we did some kind of creative work with them, and that really worked to empower them and be confident and speaking out in school as well. As a youth MP, we represent the 28,000 young people in Bolton on a local, regional and national level to make sure their voices are heard in important decision-making processes and to try and encourage young people to take part in active democracy. To do that, we work with young people and for young people through running campaigns and running workshops in places like Castle Hill Youth Centre. I enjoy being a youth MP because it gives me, it gives me a platform kind of like to be, to inspire others and also to make friends because I have made so many friends and learnt so many skills along the way and it's, um, it's absolutely incredible. In Youth Council we work with like Bolton Cams and other amazing groups. Um, we create like one big project like be kind, hashtag Be Kind To My Mind which is just helping the young people in Bolton who have a mental health issue speak out and tell them that it's okay not to be okay. We raise awareness of national campaigns such as Make Your Mark and these are things like uh, discrimination and mental health and we believe that making a change starts with young people. I come to the Healthy Mind session because I get to make new friends and meet new people. At 15 plus we do activities that's going to empower them to, to basically gain education, employment, training and other useful opportunities like volunteering as well. It just is better here so it gives you a lot opportunities and which path you're going to take in the future. Like a lot of choices to do. Everyone that comes down here, they get help to uh, do the savings and stuff and help them to get a job in it. Um, we work in partnership with um, the police and um, with the fire service. Um, recently we've put on um, a shuttle bus that goes from the town centre into organised firework events so that young people um, are going to an organised firework event and keep themselves safe. We've not only engaged with young people but we engage with residents as well that's been affected by antisocial behaviour in the, in the areas. It's how we keep everybody safe and how we can all come together as well so it's a safer community for everybody. So it's not about just the young people, it's about everybody in, in the community. I come here because there's nothing better to do and it's better because all my friends are here. Um, play pool, go in the sports hall and play football and basketball and do you like creative stuff. I go to the centre because it's um, enjoyable and it's not boring. Do projects and stuff, like you've got to get to do at home. 
Just something to do so then I'm not on my Xbox all, all night. Just to meet new friends and all. It's just a nice and kind. Like you could tell them about what you're worried about and um, what you're not so keen on. Staff are very competitive at different games like pool, table tennis and draft. I like meeting with my friends like Andrew and coming and enjoying myself playing games. Like this friendly staff who always make me a cup of tea. I come to this youth club because there is free food and there is nice activities to do. At the moment we're um, drawing on wood with these things. Um, there's a PS4 where we can play FIFA 17 and I like playing table tennis and pool. What I'd be doing if I didn't come here, I'd be just sat walking around being bored, being cold. <laughs> if I didn't come here, I think we'd just be on the streets doing nothing and getting into trouble probably. Probably be at home on the couch watching TV, it's a bit boring. Really, I'd, I'd be like unsociable, I'd be in bed asleep or watching films or just at home really. Probably sat outside on Station Park or something. I, I'd just be on the street side walking around pull like cheeky bang, yeah? <laughs> I'll be so humbled. I think the best thing about this place is keeping the kids away from trouble, especially young people. <laughs>